Hello, my name is Nancy Putkammer, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Washington in the Department of Global Health. I'm the program director for a new doctoral program at UW, the DRGH program, uh, or Doctorate in Global Health Leadership and Practice. My Women Live project focused on enhancing training on women and leadership within the DRGH program. So why does UW have a new doctoral program? Well, we're all aware of the wicked nature of challenges in global health from COVID-19 to climate change. To confront these challenges, we need nimble and responsive health systems and new ways of doing business. We need to foreground voices of women and those from the global south to catalyze solutions that are both evidence-informed and creative. UW is recognized for our mission in training, research, and practice, so we established the DRGH to grow the next generation of global health leaders. On this slide, you see the 11 students from our first two cohorts, including six rising women leaders. They're an amazing bunch. This, uh, this group of mid-career professionals represents eight countries. Like Women Lift, the DRGH program honors the principle that 90% of leadership development comes from taking on challenging assignments and from mentorship. It truly is a practice-based degree program. As you can see from our theory of change, our students start with a year of coursework, they develop their peer and mentor networks, and then in years two and three, the students move into practice-based rotations with various organizations from across the architecture of global health, such as ministries, multilaterals, NGOs, donors, or private sector companies. In the short term, we're growing self-aware leaders with an advanced toolbox of technical and executive leadership skills and an expanded professional network. In the long term, we're growing more women leaders, more leaders from the global south, an empowered health workforce, and novel partnerships across organizational boundaries. Our impact is in changing global health organizations, scaling evidence-based policies and programs, and bringing creative approaches to problem solving. So on to my Women Lift project. Uh, this had three components. First, I sought to integrate gender equity more fully within our curriculum. So for this, I initiated a consultative process with faculty and students for infusing gender equity and inclusion within our educational framework. And I taught a doctoral seminar on women in leadership, as well as male allyship, to our second year DRGH students. Uh, second, I wanted to build connections within UW to further expand opportunities for global health leadership for women. So I uh, deepened our partnerships with our schools of policy and business and other schools and departments at UW and joined a planning group for a spring symposium, which will include themes of gender equity and women's leadership. And then finally, I focused on expanding our external partnerships. For this component, we expanded our DRGH steering committee to include several, um, sorry, 12 senior leaders, including seven women. And we connected uh, DRGH students with Women Lift cohort members to explore opportunities for practice based placements. I've been so grateful for the Women Lift journey and how it's helped me to grow. I love the growth mindset and have been really pleased to feed many ideas that I've picked up from the Women Lift journey directly into our DRGH program. The program has also helped me grow my confidence. I moved from thinking about networking with basically a pit in my stomach to seeing networking as energizing a way to expand connections, ideas, and relationships. Women Lift also helped me reconnect with my joy and excitement in my day-to-day -day work. I tapped into this idea of burning bright, recognizing that sustaining my own energy and passion, even when it sometimes means stepping away from the computer, is really best for me, my career, and my impact. Building a program like uh, the DRGH has never done, and all my uh, threads of my project for Women Lift are a work in progress. There are so many areas where I seek to still build momentum for the DRGH, particularly in growing our funding base so that promising students can join and complete the program. For our students, the DRGH journey includes discomfort, uncertainty, and doubt, 
and we have yet to graduate our first students from the program. But already we know that the program is transformative because all our students have voiced how much they've grown through the program, how it's expanded their horizons. I'm so grateful for the Women Lift journey, and I look forward to using it to continue to build the DRGH at UW. Thank you.